how to create a drop down list and display different values in excel or you can say we are going to create a drop down list where we are going to select the product name from the drop down but in the cell the value will be the product id hello everyone welcome to excel time tutorial in this advanced excel tutorial i'm going to show you how you can convert your product name to product id based on a drop down list okay so let's get started <music> First, we are going to create a drop down list here. You can see we have product name in column A and product ID in column B. Now, in column D, I'm going to create drop down list. And from the drop down list, when I select the product name pen, it will display the product ID, which is this one. Okay. So, to do it, first we are going to name these ranges. So, this is our product name and ID. So, we are going to name this as product ID press enter so this is our named range okay now i'm going to create a drop down list here click on data click on data validation select list select the source which is this one so this will be the value in the drop down and if i press enter and click ok so this is my drop down list you can see i have created the drop down list here now i'm going to add this drop down list to all these cells so our list has been copied now click on this drop down here and click on pen it displays pen but i want it to display the product id which is this one okay so we're going to need a vba code here and we're going to use vlookup inside that vba so whenever i select that drop down it will look up the value and find out product id for us so right click on the sheet tab and click on view code and we are going to paste the code here and you can see this is where our drop down list is present in column 4 let's match that you can see column 1 2 3 and this is our column 4 and here we have the drop down list so that's why in our code we have written that here and now we use the vlookup here and this is our name range the one we created at the beginning okay let's check that also so if i select this so this is our name range you can see it has a name here and now this is true because we are going to look up the second value in the second column okay so this is our code and if I close this and now if I change the value from the drop down let's say select pencil and you can see we have our product ID here we are selecting our product name but the drop down is displaying the product ID here so you can change this according to your need you can even change this to display your product price let's say I'm going to change this printer code to the price here so this is our price so if I select the product name printer here it will display the product price here okay so this is how you can use a drop down list and you can select a value inside drop down list and that will display another value that you specify okay so we're going to use drop down list to display different values so this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe if you need the code please check the link in the description see you in the next tutorial please share this video with your friends and if you can please support the channel from patreon.com slash excel 10 tutorial thank you